happy birthday, first of all. What was it like being on Dancing with the Stars? I don't know if you're still on the show or not. Yeah, I was on for seven seasons. It's an amazing experience. You know, there's a lot of responsibility on your plate, but it's it's amazing. You know, it's great to be able to work with those celebs and to be able to teach them and, and watch them grow and, and be with them that whole time through that journey and, and uh, be with them while they do something they never really thought they could do. So it's very cool. And I just saw you with Jake, but who was your favorite partner so far on the show? Can I say this while Jake is here? No, I loved Jake. Uh, he was great. I really loved Elio and Ty and Louis Vito. They were my three faves, but I loved them all. I really did. Yeah. Okay, is there anyone that was difficult to work with? They didn't really pick up on it as quickly? Well, you always have difficulties in your in your rehearsals. You know, it, it's a very hard thing to do. You know, you, they're learning something completely new, and you have to teach them well enough to be able to dance in front of 20 million people. So, let alone learning something new and then the pressure behind it it's just intense so there's always difficulties there's always you know your your hard times are in, in the studio but um, okay and if you could have anybody in the world to be your partner who would your dream partner be well I always say Justin Timberlake and I know that is like such a far fetch but he would be amazing we probably wouldn't have to do anything he could probably just walk out and win all the votes just for being there but uh, no he'd be amazing yeah, I mean, he is a pretty good dancer, I'll give you that. So what do you look for in a dancing partner? In a dancing partner, you know, when it comes to Dancing with the Stars, it is a TV show, so you want them to have a really good personality. When it comes to actual dancing, you want them to be very teachable, very humble, um, and really just eager to learn, because you can go as far as you want to go if they're ready to work and if they're ready to learn. So those are the biggest thing. Is there anything that you can tell us about the upcoming season? Uh, well, most of us already know we're moving to one show a week. Uh, um, I, but other than that, I honestly don't know. I don't even know who the rumors are. I don't know anything. So that's all I know so far. What are your thoughts on Paula Dean being rumored to be on the show? Uh, I grew up like watching Paula Dean, like taking tips from her. I would, I think it'd be great to see her on. Uh, I know there's been some controversy, but I think it'd be great. And is there anything else that you're doing outside of Dancing with the Stars that you can tell us about? Uh, there's always different projects, different business stuff, and I'm currently the face of Reebok Dance Line, so that's always going well. And and looking and working on more business ventures and doing more in that avenue. And uh, yeah. A lot of okay. it's on the DL, but it's great. Yeah. And I know that you have five brothers, is that right? Yes. I know. Okay. One of them's here tonight. I'm so excited. How did you get into dancing, the most girly sport? Honestly, I tried to play sports when I was younger, and I was so bad. <laughs> um, it just was not, it was not in the cards for me. So I fell into dancing when I was nine, um, ballroom dancing, actually, because it was the only elementary school in America to have a ballroom program, and I tried it out, and I absolutely loved it. And I just could never stay away ever since. So um, thank goodness for that elementary school because I would have never, never have done it. And uh, you know, it's just one of those things that was very fortuitous, very meant to be, and, and uh, all of this is just meant to be. So. And out of all the things that you've done, what is your absolute favorite experience so far? My absolute favorite. There's been so many highlights, so many favorites. I think my favorite moments just include dancing, though, and being, you know, in front of America doing what I absolutely love and being able to share that passion with everybody and uh, and being able to hopefully inspire other people to do the same thing and go after their dreams and, and inspire them to just, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Be, be be happy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know that Tom Bergeron, Dancing with the Stars, who so you think you can dance, they're all up for Emmys. What are your thoughts on that? Are you surprised? So many friends of mine that are nominated for Emmys. I think it's amazing. And, uh, you know, I, I get so excited when I see my friends and, and they're nominated for things. And I had the opportunity to be nominated uh, a couple years ago. And it's an amazing experience. And it kind of just brings everything full circle and makes everything, all that hard work and all that, that work you put into those studios and all of the, the times with your friends and other things that you sacrifice, it makes it all worth it. So I'm very happy for all of them. One thing that you would say to an upcoming dancer or professional dancer on Dancing with the Stars, what would you say? Um, I would say to uh, to go for your dreams. I would say, you know, I think the biggest thing is, is to go for what it is that you want to do because I think the person that you turn into is even more worth it than the ending prize. You know, I think those journeys and those successes and those failures that you learn to push through and you learn to, to you know, appreciate that that's what is the true prize in the end is that person that you become in the process. So. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. Bye, have fun. Thank you.